Hi, this is Jeff Carroll from the CCR Frederick Flow Cytometry Corp. And I'm going to give a quick visual overview of using the BD Biosciences Analyzers. Uh, I'm at the Fortessa right now, but this uh, overview will apply to any of the BD Biosciences Analyzers that use DIVA software. First of all, you'll see that the instrument power is off. Let's turn the power on, push the big green button, and then we'll start the computer. And while the computer's starting up, I'll show you the two tanks below. The stainless steel pressure tank is for sheath fluid. That's the saline that runs the instrument. And then the plastic carboy is for the waste. And when you get to the instrument, the previous user should have filled the sheath tank, you, you can usually tell that it's it's full just by jostling it. And the waste, waste tank should also be empty. Typically we have people put some bleach up to about 10% of the volume in the waste tank prior to dumping it. If you do that when you get started, um, then it has time to sit with whatever you're putting into the waste to inactivate it. So it's a good idea to, to just add your bleach when you start your run. Once the computer boots up, we all log in using the Windows Admin login, and we all use the same common password, which is all capitals, BDIS, pound sign, one. And once Windows comes up, you'll see there's a desktop icon to launch FaxDiva. So I'll double click on that. So once the splash screen comes up for Diva software, you'll see that all the users have their own unique login. I'm going to log in as admin, but once you're in the system and have access rights that we grant, you'll have your own unique login and password to use here. So, Diva will launch. You can see we've got two monitors. It's nice to be able to spread things out. You can use the right-hand monitor for your worksheet where you look at your plots and gates. On the left, you'll see a number of windows. The one on the far left is called the browser, and within the browser, there are a number of folders. I'm actually just going to make a new experiment here in the QC folder, so I double-click on that, and then I'll go to the experiment menu and select new experiment. You get some options here. If you've got a template saved, this is where your template would appear. But for now, I'm just going to start with the blank experiment. So now we can see the blank experiment there. Here's in the browser. It just gives it a default name. If you right click on it, you can rename that experiment. I recommend giving it something descriptive for you. Uh, initial state and study, something like that. Uh, you also notice the little icons. So the folders are clear, but then below each experiment looks like a file cabinet and then, or maybe it's a book, and then when it's open, it looks actually like an open book. So that's how you know whether your experiment is open. First thing I like to do is click on cytometer settings, and you'll see in the next window over, which is called the inspector, all the different parameters available, available to you up here. And at this point, I like to delete all the parameters I'm not using. So on this machine, it's a four color, or four laser machine with 16 different channels. We're not going to use them all. So let's just say you're using FITSI and APC. So you would select each one and click delete. 